Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today we're back at the Disneyland Resort. Today we're going to be doing an update around Downtown Disney. Uh, as usual, we're going to start from the Star Wars Trading Post side all the way to the other end of Downtown Disney, which is by World of Disney. So as usual, we're going to be starting with Star Wars Trading Post and then we'll make our way through Downtown Disney. But first I want to show you guys this before we head inside of the store. We take flee to the wind being so strong. It looks like they uh, raised up the scrim so that way it doesn't blow the fence over. But you can see some of the work that they're doing here. You can see that all the uh, concrete over here on the ground or, or the floor basically is gone. And then they've already started laying down some new ground over here. Look at that. But anyways, now we're inside the Star Wars Trading Post. And I think I'm going to give you guys a quick look at the lightsabers they have in stock at this moment. So they have Kylo Ren, they have Cal Kestis, Darth Vader, they have Darth Sidious, Luminara, Anakin Skywalker, Plo Koon, Leia. They have Rey. Uh, I think it's Kanan. They have Qui-Gon, they have Yoda's awesome little hilt right there. So I just showed you guys the lightsabers in this display case, and then on this one they have Darth Maul, they have Luke Skywalker, Obi-Wan Kenobi, they have Count Dooku, they have the uh, the sets that come with the clip, lightsaber and stand, this one, uh, they have Darth Vader, they have Mace Windu, Skywalker, Legacy set, they have Ahsoka, and they have the Darksaber. I also saw some pretty cool uh, like like uh, Return of the Jedi figures, so let me go ahead and show you guys those. So they have Princess Leia, they have Wicket, they have Biker Scout Trooper, they have more Wicket, and oh, they also have Han Solo over here. So I was walking around the Star Wars Trading Post, and I saw that it looks like the uh, Grogu ears are back in stock. These are pretty cool. I think they like came in, they sold out, and then now they're finally back here at the Disneyland Resort. These are $34.99, and let's see if it passes the flimsy test. It's a little soft, but again, it's because of the materials it's made out of, but see, it comes right back though. It's a nice pair of ears. So there's not a whole lot of like new stuff in the store today, but they do have one more thing I wanna show you guys that is pretty awesome, and it's an action figure. Look, they have the Mandalorian. That is cool, look at that. Comes with the Darksaber, his jetpack, his blaster, his knife. Star Wars, the Book of Boba Fett. Oh, so it's part of the, that uh, series, not the Mandalorian itself. This one's $24.99, and then over here, they have, I don't remember his name, Tusken Chief Tane. I think this is the one that trains uh, Boba Fett in combat. This one's $24.99. They also have Cad Bane. This is a pretty cool find. Comes with the blasters. This one's $24.99. And then, same guy, no, Pike Soldier. These are those guys that they fight in uh, Book of Boa Fist. This one's also $24.99. And I think as far as that series, that's, yeah, that's all of them. I will say though, and I'm sure you guys can tell out of all the, the figures I just showed you guys, Mando's probably my favorite. And now it's a Cad Bane. So we just left the Star Wars Training Post. I wanted to show you guys a closer look at the, uh, the new ground they put in. It's like blue. I wonder if they're gonna put like some theming to the Star Wars Trading Post here or not, but we'll see once it's finished. But anyways, on to the next door. Today is Tuesday, which means new pin release day. So we ended up coming to Pin Traders to look for the new pins in the What's New section, and sadly, I got some bad news for you guys. So usually every Tuesday is pin release day, and today should have been one of those days because it is Tuesday, but there's no new pins today, which is pretty sad. Man, that sucks though, no new pins today, but we're gonna be heading to the Lego store once they open in about five minutes. So we finally got inside the Lego store, and the whole reason why I came in here is because through the window, this uh, Walt Disney World castle actually caught my attention. I've seen it before, I've actually helped build one of these, but I just wanted to show you guys in case anybody's looking for this. So here's a close look at the box. This thing is a lot to build, but it's a lot of fun. A lot of instructions and pieces. But in case you guys are looking for this one or are interested, this one's $399.99. I really wish and hope that they make a Sleeping Beauty castle because Cinderella Castle is cool, but we need one for our park. So you guys know how this weekend is Easter weekend. Well, Sunday's Easter day of whatever of Easter. Uh, here at the Lego store, they actually have like a little Easter egg hunt. Let me go and show you guys uh, what I'm talking about. So as soon as you walk in, if you go to the demo table, one of the employees will, well, if you ask nicely, they'll hand you one of these cards with a marker and you can find these uh, Lego sets in the display cases and then once you find all of them you check mark them all off you get a prize and it's going on from i think the guy said today till the end of this week so if you guys want to do this make sure you guys come soon 
So I did talk to one of the uh, Lego employees about like where to find the eggs, or not the eggs, oh yeah, the eggs technically, the, the brick built eggs. So he told me that all these are in, in one of the display cases except for this one. And I was lucky enough to find it. So if you look up and you look at the Eiffel Tower, you'll see it right there. So I just found the second one, this pink one right here. It's actually in this display case. Right, let me get it to focus. There it is, it's back there. So when I was talking to the employee who was kind of giving me like a little bit of tips on like where some of the eggs are, well basically just the one where he said that there was one that was outside the, the display case. And he did tell me that one was really hard to find, but I actually found it. So I'm gonna show you guys where it is. So as soon as you walk in, if you see this Lego castle, look at the display and then look back there at this uh, little mermaid Lego display. They have the uh, egg you gotta find. Yeah, he said that this one was probably the hardest one to find, so if you have any trouble, now you know where to find it. All right, so I just found the fourth one, and this one's located on the, uh, I guess, like Jurassic World, Jurassic Park section. Check the display case on, or the third display, well, fourth display case, and you'll find the egg. See, it's this one right here, and then the egg is way back there. It's that blue and green one. Sorry, it won't focus. It's just kind of far away from my lens, but uh, you guys get the idea. It's back there. All right, four down two to go all right and then here in the lego friends section i found another one it's the pink and yellow one so we have five down one to go man i don't know why but the last uh egg i had to find was probably the hardest one for me to find even though it wasn't that hard to find once i found it <laughs> so here in the marvel section on the first display where they're like in a movie theater they have the piece right, or the egg right there, which it won't focus on, but there it is in the back. And now we have officially completed the Lego egg hunt. Man, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> As you guys can see, I got my prize, which is a like crown. And then they also have a Easter like sticker sheet, which you get. But before we finally leave the Lego store, I have one more awesome thing to show you guys, which is, well, it, it probably made my day so far. They finally brought back the Lego keychain section. So it's like they currently have Mickey, Goofy, Donald, Daisy, Winnie the Pooh, they have Iron Man, they have, I don't remember his name. I know it's Spider-Man, but like, I don't know if it's the Miles Morales or I can't remember. They have a Scarlet Witch, they have Ahsoka, they have Fennec, Yoda, they have Darth Vader, Scout Trooper, Storm Trooper, Batman, Superman. They have some Harry Potter characters. They have Harry Potter himself and then they have Hermione. All right, so we just left the Lego store and I will say I'm really glad that they had that like little Easter egg hunt thing. It was kind of difficult, but fun. It wasn't like, it wasn't like too easy like the one they do in downtown Disney. And on top of all that, that Lego store one was free. So before we make it to our next destination, location, what do you want to call it? I just wanted to show you guys Wonder on Gallery. It looks like there is no updates as of today. So it looks exactly the same way it did the last time I was here. Oh, and also in case you guys were wondering what our next location or destination is going to be, it's going to be World of Disney. Earlier when I was making my way to the Star Wars Trading Post, I actually passed by Dress Shop, there was nothing new. Uh, Marcy's Confectionery, nothing new. So we're gonna skip those stores and go straight to World of Disney. So we just got to World of Disney. Now we're gonna walk around and see what is new. All right, so we ended up skipping room one and went straight to room two because I didn't really find anything new there. But here in room two, they actually have a new pair of ears. So here in room two, basically right in front of the Disney East collection, there's this like center display. And this is where they have the new ears, which are themed to the Tres Caballeros. I kind of thought it said it on the back or something, but it doesn't. It just says, Saludos Amigos. These guys are pretty cool though. And they're even uh, made by Launchfly. You got a little guitar right there. The bow looks cool. Uh, it looks like the bow's detachable, which is cool too. And like I mentioned, they're made by Launchfly. So they're gonna have a Launchfly price tag, which is $44.99. And yeah, these things are solid. Look, really good ears. Uh, what does it say here? Oh, and they glow in the dark. Hold on, let me see how that works. Sorry, these things are dangling around. Yeah, it glows in the dark. Not sure which parts glow in the dark, but I believe them. And then here in room three, they have some, uh, it's a small world merchandise. They have a spirit jersey, it looks like some socks. I'm not sure if those are new or not. They have a mug, which I'm not sure is new or not. They have a blanket, which I'm not sure is new or not. And it looks like they also have like a, a game card set, which I'm not sure if that's new or not, but I feel like I've never seen any of this stuff. And for sure, the Spirit Jersey is new. So we'll start off with the It's a Smart World game card set. Create colorful, abstract structures using cards inspired by the beloved Disney attraction, It's a Small World. 
I didn't come up with that. That's what it says in that little corner in the front. This one's $24.99. And then here's a look at the socks, which again, not sure if these are new or not, but they are in this section. Very colorful. Too colorful for my taste, but these are, it doesn't say, sadly. The mug, I feel like I've seen the mug before, but I'm not 100% sure. The mug is $19.99. Then they have this blanket, which is a good chance that this is new because it kind of matches the uh, spirit jersey. So this is how it looks all in done, which I think it looks pretty cool. And then let me see how much it costs. This one is $44.99. And then here's like the back of the spirit jersey. It says it's a small world. It's got some of the animatronics on there. It's a nice like blue too. Like, I don't know, I like it. It's not a, a bad color. Here's a look at the front. Looks like they have sizes extra small to a 2X. And as far as I know, I think it's $74.99. So I actually scanned the uh, Spirit Jersey's barcode and the price is $79.99. So still in the It's a Small World merchandise, they have this sweater, which look at the back, it's pretty cool. It's a, I think it's a zip up hoodie. Yeah, it's got a zipper on it says it's a small world and then it's got this little tag on there which is cool looks like sizes go from an extra small to a 3x and it retails for 59.99 ah, 59.99 so before we leave room three i have two more things to show you guys and honestly they're both pretty cool i think one's cooler than the other one but i'll let you guys decide which one's cooler <laughs> So they have this Disneyland jersey, which I think is pretty sick. This is something that I would probably wear. I don't know. I wish it had a little bit more black because gray is not really my color, even though I'm wearing gray today, but still, I prefer black over gray. Here's a look at the back. It's the Disneyland Resort. It's got a castle on the right sleeve. And then just like that last jersey I showed you guys in the button, it's got a little D, which is cool. Looks like they have sizes extra small to a 3X in stock and it retails for $74.99. And then on the same display, but on this side, they have a new, looks like a bucket hat. It's like tie-dye and it says Disneyland Resort all over. It's made by Spirit Jersey and it is reversible and it's even more tie-dye on the inside. I think I like this side a little bit more than the inside. But in case you guys are interested, this one is $39.99. So we finished with room three. We did, couldn't find anything new in room four, but now we're gonna see what's up in room five. Ha, you get it? What's up? There's a lot of uh, up merchandise in room five. They have like a whole like little section of it, which I'll show you guys in detail. So they have this launch fly bag with Carl, which I thought is pretty cool. They have a good amount of them too. I think yesterday they had the ears, but they sold out because uh, you know, due to how popular it was. This one's $88. It's got the Spirit of Adventure on the on the back of it. It's got Doug on one side, Russell on the other, and then of course Carl on the front. This one's really cool. I can't wait to see the lining inside. Which let's I think it's gonna have like balloons or clouds. Ah, uh, it's got both and planes. <laughs> this is nice. I like this one. And they also have this like, uh, not spirit jersey, but jersey. It's got Russell and Doug on it. It says adventure awaits, choose your path. This one is $64.99. I'll show you guys the back. Ready for adventure. And it's got Carl looking very angry on the back. And then in case you guys are interested, I'm not sure if I said the price already or not, but this one's $64.99. And it looks like the sizes go from uh, extra small to a 3X. They also have this, which is old. It's a Wilderness Explorer set. They have Russell's hat. They have this corksicle, which is really nice. I'm not sure if this is new or not, but it's got the house. And then there's a heart made up of balloons. Carl and Ellie with a heart balloon. This one's $44.99. They also have the grape soda sipper. Adventures out there. Balloons on the back. This one's $24.99. And then they have this really cool like green Wilderness Explorer jacket. It's got Russell, Carl, Doug. I love the color of this one. Like it's like, like I said that about that one in uh, the Grand. It's like military looking. And on the back says an explorer is a friend to all. Be it plants or fish or tiny mole. <laughs> caw, caw. 
It looks like sizes range from an extra small to a 3X and it retails for $64.99. And then lastly, they have this kit shirt, which I'm not sure if this is new or not, but it is up themed. It says the adventure never ends. Nothing on the back. This one's $21.99. And it looks like kit sizes range from an extra small to a XL. So every time we come to room five, I will show you guys the ear wall, which is right behind me, but I think I might skip it today just because they have a lot of the same ears as it did last time that I was here. See, if you look carefully at the wall, it looks like they have the exact same ears as the last time I was here, except for one, which is this like unicorn princess ears or whatever. It's like the only ones that weren't on the wall last time I was here, but these are not new. It's just a restock. And then here on the wall of mugs, it looks like, it looks like they might have two mugs that are new-ish, I think, and they're Winnie the Pooh themed. I don't know, this one looks kind of familiar. I'm not sure if it's new or not, but it's got a little rainbow stir. It's got uh, Eeyore, some bees. This one's $19.99. Like I said, I'm not 100% sure if this one's new or not. And then they also have this Winnie the Pooh one, which again, not sure if it's new or not. Actually, no, this one's old because I remember on the front, it's got his face in the back, it's got his back. But it looks like they got restocked. These are $19.99. So it usually takes a lot for me to actually like a sweater enough to want to buy it. And I think I finally found a good one. <laughs> yeah, because there's tons of merch that I think it's cool, but I don't think I wear it myself. But this is something I would definitely wear myself. It's a very dark gray zip-up sweater with aliens. It's themed to the Pizza Planet. It's part of the Pizza Planet merch. Prepare yourself for a cheesy invasion. Pizza Planet. And they have it in my size. It goes from an extra small to a 3X. I'll show you guys the fronts. That's cool. I just love the color of it. It's very heavy too, so definitely gonna keep you warm. Probably a bad time to buy a sweater right now because, you know, summer's coming. But in case you guys are interested in this one, this one is, let me see if I can find a price for you guys first. Oh man. Come on, price, where are you? There it is. This one is $64.99. But besides that, that's basically it for World of Disney. So we just have World of Disney, and that was basically everything new I was able to find in World of Disney and then the rest of Downtown Disney. Like I said, Dress Shop didn't have anything new. Marcy's Confectionery didn't have anything new. Star Street Post didn't have anything new, but they did have those Grogu ears that were restocked. And then, of course, World of Disney had a bunch of the new stuff. And then also, if you guys want to do like a pretty cool free Easter egg hunt, go to the Lego store until, this, until the end of this week and uh, try it out. It's a lot of fun, and you guys get stickers and a little flower crown. <laughs> But anyways, I think I'm going to end the video here. If you guys enjoyed it, if you guys did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.